And for more than eight decades, people have come to Bald Knob Cross to celebrate its Easter sunrise service. And as News 3's Paul Wilcoxon shows us, visiting the iconic cross is an awe-inspiring moment for many. After Christmas, it's the second most popular day for people to attend church. You know, Easter, it seems like the start to something new. It's Easter Sunday, the day Christians celebrate the risen Savior. It's estimated that nearly 2,000 people came to Bald Knob Cross Sunday to celebrate at its Easter sunrise service. There are just uh, a few places in this world that are like this. I mean, this is just one of the most beautiful and holy places you could ever imagine being. Visitors from all around make their journey to Southern Illinois to visit the cross. And according to Executive Director of Bald Knob Cross, Jenna Gwynedd, there's something different about the cross on Easter Sunday. Today is so special to us here at Bald Knob Cross because it's such a tradition. We've We've been doing this for 88 years now, and so um, it has become a Southern Illinois tradition for people. Visitors like Tom and Lorna O'Connell from Indiana. You feel the spirit inside and uh, to be here and share it with everybody. It's, it's amazing. To look around and see people here celebrating with you and very, very enjoyable. Eric Gregg was the keynote speaker for the Sunrise Service. He's a member of the Bald Knob Cross of Peace Board of Directors and a cancer survivor. Gregg says he hopes people take away the need to grow in faith and courage in their everyday life. You've got to have faith and you've got to have courage and you've got to keep moving forward. I mean, that, I think that's essential to survival is to just keep your attitude where it needs to be and, and just, again, keep moving forward. And for Gwyneth, whether it's on Easter or any other beautiful Southern Illinois day, she knows no other place better to be than at Bald Knob Cross. Every day when I top this hill and see that cross, it makes me teary-eyed just to talk about it. In Alto Pass, Paul Wilcoxon, News 3.